Hello everyone, welcome to the playlist of Basic Electrical Engineering. In the last session I have discussed about AC through pure inductive circuits or pure inductor. In this session I will be discussing what do you mean by inductive reactants. Let's understand the basics of inductive reactants and uh, let's understand some analysis. Please recall whatever we discussed in the last session. So an AC supply that is connected to an inductor. Here we can able to say that voltage is leading behind the current at an angle of 90 degree. Voltage is leading by the current at an angle of 90 degree where current is lagging by the voltage at an angle of 90 degree. The uh, consider the waveform. This waveform says that current is lagging the voltage at an angle of 90 degree. You can uh, read the equation V is equal to Vm sin omega t where I is equal to Im sin omega t minus 90 degree or pi by 2 radian. Phase difference is pi by 2 of course. Uh, the third figure represents the another representation. Both are everything is same only but the third diagram says that voltage is leading the current at an angle of 90 degree. Both are correct. Here current is taken as reference then you have to represent the voltage in this fashion. So that is a peculiarity. Uh, basically these two waveforms are 100% the same but uh, we will be explaining in different manner. In the particular diagram says that current is by the voltage of 90 degree where voltage is leading the current at an angle of 90 degree that is the conclusion from the second figure. Okay. And the equation also very clear. Here you can see the voltage waveforms and the current waveforms. The voltage can be written as Vm sin omega t where current can be written as Vm by omega l into sin omega t minus pi by 2. Consider these two equations. Here there is one term called omega into l. What is omega? Omega means angular frequency. You can write angular frequency in terms of supply frequency as omega is equal to 2 pi f. 2 pi f. Clear? Uh, l is known as inductance. What is omega l? Let me ask one question to you. Do you know that? What is omega l? Yes, that we have to analyze. What is omega l? So, omega l is generally called as inductive reactance. What do you mean by inductive reactance? It is represented by the letter X subscript L. The inductive reactance is the opposition offered by the inductor in an AC circuit to the flow of AC current. It is represented by the letter XL and it is measured in terms of ohms. So, XL is known as inductive reactance. It is measured in terms of ohm. Omega symbol you can mark. Okay. XL is equal to omega into L in terms of O. If you want to convert uh, angular frequency into supply frequency, then you can uh, instead of omega, you need to write 2 pi f. So, omega is equal to 2 pi f into L. So, these are the basic equations related to inductive reactants. One more important relation. So, consider the equation XL is equal to 2 pi into f into L. So, what is the relation between XL and supply frequency? XL is directly proportional to the supply frequency. As the supply frequency increases, look at this, as the supply frequency increases, XL is also will be getting increased. Both are directly proportional. I will be getting a straight line graph. It is very clear. XL and supply frequency both are directly proportional. That is another observation we can make out from this particular equation. If you understood, you can solve the problem. A coil of inductance, what is the coil of inductance? You can mark like this one minute. So, you can able to draw it neatly. A coil, okay. Coil can be drawn very neatly. A coil, there is a coil, remember there is a coil. Consider a coil like this. You can draw like this, okay. Coil can be drawn. And the supply frequency, what is the supply frequency? It is 50 hertz. And what is the supply voltage? 100 volt. 100 volt. 50 hertz. 50 hertz. This is the supply system. Okay, supply. L is 150 milli Henry. 150 milli Henry. If you want, you can convert into Henry. That means uh, uh, 150 milli Henry is equal to 150 into 10 to the power minus 3 Henry. Calculate the inductive reactant. So, what is inductive reactant? XL is equal to L into omega. L into omega. L is equal to 150. 
150 into if you want to multiply in term 10 to the power minus 3 into omega means 2 pi f 2 into pi into what is f 50 we can calculate like this excel can be calculated so what is uh, current flowing through the circuit current flowing through the circuit i is equal to v by xl see xl is equal to 2 pi fl uh, that 2 pi into f into l value is equal to 150 milli henry 150 into 10 to the power minus 3 they have written as 0.15 that is equal to 47.120 if i know the value of xl i can calculate current Cur current is i is equal to v by xl that is equal to 100 divided by 47.12 that is equal to 2.12 ampere so in this session what we discussed is number one uh, we have recalled current through ac supplied inductive circuit afterwards we have discussed the phasor diagram once again later on i have discussed what is an inductive reactance definition of inductive reactance then equation of inductive reactance relation between the inductive reactants and the frequency as the frequency increases inductive reactance also increases both are directly proportional okay let me know if you are having any questions i'll be you can put up in the comment box surely i'll revert back in the coming session i'll be discussing the ac through capacitor finally thank you for watching this video